first of all, thanks to Nee for giving me a hand working out the projector and PowerPoint. Uh, I don't do these very often, <laughs> so thank you very much. Um, hi guys. So, um, welcome all to the CloudStack track of the Ceph CloudStack day. Um, as I mentioned a couple of times now, next door will be now five, four or five talks all about Ceph. In here, we've got four or five talks uh, all about CloudStack. Um, thank you all very much for joining us in here today. Uh, my name's Steve Rolls, for those that haven't met me, I am a CloudStack community member. I don't commit very much. Um, I don't answer many questions on the mailing lists, but I'm, I'm, I'm here, okay? I'm more an operational guy than a technical guy, okay? So if you've got a bunch of deep technical questions, I can assure you I'm not the right person to ask those questions to. I'm not along, and I'll try and kind of, you know, sound smart, but uh, there's plenty more guys in this room that can answer questions, including my colleague Andrea, uh, who later on is giving another talk all about what's coming up in uh, the next, next cloud stack and what's been just released in the new cloud stack. If this is your first time um, to one of these groups, um, what, what, what is the Cloud Stack European User Group? It is it's basically an environment where users, um, developers, uh, mainly users, get together, um, meet, talk, collaborate, listen. Um, we go into talks about you know technical uh, uh, aspects, new features. We hear from uh, sometimes vendors come and give us and give us some ideas about what they're doing in their space. Um, anything, anything Cloud Stack. We. Meet quarterly, usually in London, but we try to um, get out out of out of England because there is more obviously to Europe than just London, as we all know. Uh, last one was in Sofia uh, in March, and we have one in Berlin as well, um, and Prague recently. Um, and if you're interested in kind of uh, following it or joining it, the only real place to find information is is, is the LinkedIn. Um, LinkedIn group, CloudStack users, or CloudStack European user group. Um, there's no official kind of uh, uh, group, as it were. Um, one more thanks to our sponsors. Um, uh, these days wouldn't really be possible without somebody stepping up and organising them for free. And also, obviously, people like the State of the Music group of buying all the drinks later. Um, Softline and Seth between them have, have, have covered the venue and the catering, so that's fantastic. I've shaped uh, Widow and myself have done all the organisation um, and haven't actually spent any money, which is nice. Um, the agenda today, uh, I'll get off the stage as quickly as possible, I assure you. Uh, I've got really great, um, great talks coming up there. Um, as I say, uh, we'll start off with Andre and Sebastian uh, from uh, I told him today about the Cloud Management Portal. Uh, we'll have a crew break at about half past two. Um, I'll double check that. That cover it might, might actually be quarter past three, but let me let me check that. That might be, that might be uh, a mistake. But that, that, those timings will kind of work around the talks and make sure that obviously the talks get enough time and we get a cup of coffee a little bit later. Um, and then five o'clock, when we finish our talks in here and they finish their talks next door, we'll all dive in next door for some sort of closing thoughts on the day. Uh, and then we'll all hopefully, most of us, if not all of us, will go for a drink downstairs. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we've had the group in um, different places in Europe, but it's also all over the world. Uh, these groups have, have, have started up and sprung up and are, are running regularly, um, not just in Europe, uh, out in obviously Asia, Far East, um, down in Cape Town, South Africa, uh, all across Europe as I mentioned, and some in the States as well. So it's a really good, uh, vibrant community that's, um, that we've got here, and this is just the one small part of it. CloudStack news, what's been happening and what is about to start happening in CloudStack. Uh, it's been a pretty pretty busy few months, as I say, since the last uh, meetup in March. We've had, um, as you can see there, several several new releases, uh, either LTS or non-LTS. Again, just in case anyone here isn't familiar, LTS is long-term support. Um, so the LTS branches are ones that are released and then are, are then are given long-term support by the community in the form of bug fixes, um, dot releases, uh, security patches, and that sort of thing. The LTS releases aren't given quite that level of support. Um, they're there because some people like to adopt faster than others. Uh, some uh, people, like a lot of our customers, they prefer a, a more stable, a more considered release path, so every maybe every year, every, every year and a half, whatever, whereas other people out there would just, just want to upgrade, 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 uh, and, and, and get, consume those latest features very quickly. Uh, but as you can see there, um, awful lot of activity, loads of fixes, loads of commits, loads of, um, uh, a couple of dot releases there. 4.13 was the, is, the, is the most recent release that was released just, just last September, um, and we've got um, a ton of new features in there, a few of which of which my colleague Andrew will mention later today. Uh, and we're looking to the next LTS. LTS is released summer, winter, uh, so twice a year. Uh, next one's winter LTS, likely to be 414, and that'll be coming soon, probably January, uh, depending on obviously everyone's everyone's uh, workload. I'm happy. That's what we're aiming for, certainly. 
Um, just a couple of headlines there, what's, what's, what was in 4.13, there's a lot more than this. Um, we certainly pushed a lot ourselves, and a lot of other people out there uh, also had a lot, a lot going on. These are simply headlines, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not about to go into any detail on these, that will be my colleague's job later. Um, but uh, these are just a few of the things that the guys wanted to kind of mention as, as some headline, headline things coming up there. Um, and in 4.14, 4.14 shaping up to be a very, very interesting release, uh, in my opinion. Um, you've got things, I mean, pretty much everything on here uh, is, is, I think, pretty exciting. Um, I know Backup and Recovery Framework and, 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 the, and, the, and, the, and the Containers plugin, that's been, that's been something that people have been talking about for a long time now. Um, that's going to be in 4.14. We are fairly certain of. <laughs> um, and, of course, I know those of you that are on the mailing list will have seen an awful lot of talk about the new... UI known as Primates. Uh, that's being sort of run by uh, uh, Rohit, who's one of our developers. Uh, we've got help um, from the community as well. A uh, few of you guys are actually joining in and giving us some help with that. So, um, again, more detail later. But this this is a this is a very very exciting piece. I know that it's it certainly um, from my perspective, a, a bit high level looking looking in sort of thing. Uh, I've never seen so many votes on the mailing list as, as came in as came in for this it was so clearly there's a lot of interest in that um, and i think the sort of the, in summary we're looking to have it into production by the winter 2020 release so roughly a year and three months from now um, sooner than that as uh, maybe even as close as 14 as uh, additional yes i mean in full production we're, yeah. we're going to run it production? Yeah. 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 yeah so we're going to install uh, it's side by side, a sort of beta version. Again, I'm stealing from your, from your talk here, really. Um, I'll stick with saying we're looking to have it in full production, as in replace the old UI, uh, winter 2020. So about a year and four months from now is, 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 is the plan. As I say, more detail to come. Um, and just in case you haven't got that. <laughs> okay, a um, little bit of news there. I think Paul mentioned this uh, recently. I don't know if anyone goes in the audience. We've been recognized by Newsweek uh, in their inaugural list of best business tools in the cloud services category which I think is fantastic. Um, there was, uh, I did notice in this particular, uh, when, I had, when I had a look at, the, when Paul sort of mentioned it to us and I had a look at the, uh, the article, there was actually another uh, uh, well-known cloud platform solution that wasn't in this list. Um, feel free to take a look yourselves, but I think it's a great, really great uh, 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 thing to have and it really just goes to prove, we always say uh, hashtag cloud stack works is, is, is a hashtag that we use regularly and what we mean by that is uh, it isn't particularly fancy, it isn't particularly flashy, it isn't a particularly uh, you know, hugely marketed uh, uh, thing, it's simply some people have said it's actually a bit boring, it just sits there and quietly does what it's supposed to do, um, which I'm not quite sure what else you want from a cloud platform but there you go. Um, cloud stack events, um, we were in, uh, oh no, I've got ahead of myself there. The next meeting of this group will probably be in around January, it, probably in London because it usually is, but again, we're always open if you guys have got big um, local cloud stack or local uh, um, user base and you want to start a group in, in, in wherever you guys are, fantastic. As I said earlier, we done one in Berlin, we, got, uh, we, we came over to Bulgaria um, and Prague and, and all those events have been fantastic. Uh, always looking for speakers, so please, uh, if you guys or anybody in your organisations wants to give a talk at one of these events, uh, please do let me know. As I say, I'll be sharing all these slides. You can see they're all being videoed as well. So I'll probably, um, and I think most of you will, if you're not on our mailing list for, for, for this group, you will be after this, this, this event. You'll all get a blast for an email from me just sort of linking to a little article I'll write which includes links to all the slides, links to all the videos. So you can see all this and you'll, you'll then have my email address. And if you want to submit a talk, please, we're always looking for them. Thank you. Uh, we were recently in Las Vegas. Uh, which was fabulous uh, for the CloudStack Collaboration Conference. That was um, 9th to 13th of September, um, and it was a truly great event. I mean, these events have been running now for seven years, the CloudStack um, uh, Collaboration Conference. The first one, in fact, was in Las Vegas seven years ago, um, which I was at in a slightly nice hotel, but uh, there you go. Um, so seven years on, we're, we're, we're back in Vegas. It was a fantastic event, really, really great. Um, Second highest turnout, we were told by the ApacheCon guys, uh, who we co-locate the event with. Second highest ever registration um, since ApacheCon started, and certainly since the, the uh, collaboration conference has been started. Uh, most of the talks were recorded. Um, Andrew was in charge, so, so um, he got 21 and 20 out of 24. Pretty good. Uh, and they're all up, they're all up on the... Uh, Actually, so I only damaged two of those. Only damaged two of those, okay. Mine's okay, right? Huh? Mine's okay, yeah. 
Uh, you, it will be. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> it will be. Once you've brushed it all up a little bit, yeah? All right, thank you. Um, so all the talks are up online and out on our YouTube um, uh, uh, playlist. If you weren't there and you're interested, as I say, most of the, the vast majority of talks were recorded and they're all up online there. Um, the new UI was announced and demoed. And there's, I'm just mentioning this because, because as most of you in this room probably know, there's not much marketing goes on with, uh, with, with Apache Cloud Stack. Um, we're doing what we can to try and kind of change that, to try and get some, get some things out there. And if you're interested, there's a short little video here that was made of the event. Again, is it by you or Clara? Uh, let's say jointly. Collaboration. Yeah. Collaboration between uh, Andrew and our uh, marketing. They put this little video together, uh, but very interesting. It's a little bit of fun. Um, but it was a fantastic event, like I say, loads of talks, uh, great to see a few of you guys out there, um, although we didn't bizarrely manage to miss you all week. Um, um, fa always great to see so many people out there, so many talks, so much, so much discussion afterwards, collaboration. Um, I recommend, can't recommend high enough, if you get the chance to go to one of the events, uh, uh, please, please do. Um, and we always finish with this slide. Um, on, on, when Giles normally does a speak, but I'm doing it today, we always finish with this little, little slide here. Um, we're always trying to get people to talk more about their use of CloudStack, to, 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 to be public about it. Um, this year in Las Vegas, Apple actually were, uh, they joined uh, the keynote speech, which was given by uh, the shape, uh, my colleague Paul Angus, and Apple actually finally came on stage and, and, and said in, you know, out in public, we, 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 we use, um, we use CloudStack, which is a really great thing to have, to have happen. Obviously, CloudStack, are, um, Apple, sorry, are a relatively well-known company, and it's well, five or six years. Okay, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But they finally came out and said it, which is fantastic. And they actually said it's quite. I found quite interesting. Um, the Apple, the Apple Services Division. So forget about the hardware and the software and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, the big fancy stuff, the billion trillion dollar company. The Services Division, uh, on its own, apparently, is a twelve million dollar a quarter turnover business on it. So on its own, this little division in Apple uh, is, is, is a Fortune 500 company on its own. And in the middle of that Fortune 500 company is, to, the exact words that, that, that Apple use, is a huge cloud stack cloud, um, which is great to hear. Um, so yeah, if you guys aren't talking about it, aren't public about it, and you don't mind, do please get yourselves on the known user list, um, offer to do a case study, just talk about class. So that would be fantastic. Oh, talk available on your videos. Yes, absolutely. It's not a Apple talk, it's part of Paul's talk. It's about, about five minutes, but absolutely, yeah. On the keynote um, in Las Vegas, which is on the YouTube channel there, you'll see, yeah, you'll see Apple, uh, Apple, um, the guy Anthony, Anthony. It's a great, it's a, it's a, it's a great talk, and, and as I say, it, 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 is, it is in there. Okay, that's me done. Thank you for listening. I hope I haven't bored you too much. Our first talk is uh, Andre, Walter, and Sebastian from Intelligence Cloud Management Portal Admin View. So, welcome to the stage, please.